guys, my name is Anna Quinn. I am a NASM certified personal trainer. Been training for about six and a half years. And today I'm gonna take you through a chest and shoulder workout. Our first exercise is gonna be shoulder mobility. So just to get our, our shoulders warmed up, make sure that we're not tight, make sure that we have good range of motion. Um, we're gonna use a band and we're just gonna do this around the world motion. Um, so all the way starting at the front of your thighs, you're gonna go straight up, keeping your arms straight, go all the way back down to the back of your thighs and then come back around. We're trying to make sure that our arms stay straight and we really get a good stretch through this movement. Um, when you get your arms all the way above your head, they're gonna wanna bend, so try to keep them straight as much as possible and get that good stretch all around your shoulder. The next stretch we're gonna do is gonna be another banded stretch. This is another mobility exercise. We're gonna hold on to the resistance band, um, use our hand and keep our elbow in and holding the band, we're gonna let the band pull our elbow back past our head. So you wanna get a really, really good stretch again here. Um, not going too, too far, but really slowly pushing through that movement, finding that range of motion and just kind of sitting in it. You can use your body to sort of lean into it to increase the pressure and deepen the stretch. And then since we're hitting chest too, we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises, push-ups. So with push-ups, you wanna make sure that you keep your chest around your elbows. So a lot of times when people do push-ups, they throw their elbows forward and then their chest sits back behind their shoulders. So you wanna actually pull your chest through your arms. That way we can actually engage our chest more and we take some of the stress and pressure off of our joints and off of our shoulders. And for those, we're just gonna do three or four sets of each just until we feel like our heart rate's up, we're sweating a little bit and we're feeling pretty warm. All right, so our first exercise is gonna be a pyramid set on bench press. So you can do flat or inclined bench depending on what part of your chest you're wanting to work more. Inclined be bench is gonna hit a little bit more of the upper chest, whereas flat bench is gonna be more mid. Um, but we're gonna do a pyramid set. So the first three sets, we're gonna be increasing weight. We're gonna aim for eight to 10 reps of each. And we're just gonna do uh, really clean reps, smooth, controlled, keeping our butt down, keeping our core engaged, keeping our shoulders pinned into the bench. Um, as soon as we finish that, we can take maybe 45 seconds, 60 seconds to rest. And then we're gonna add some weight. I recommend adding little plates so that when we do our drop set, which is gonna be the next half of this, it's a little easier to pull the weight off. So um, I did mine, I added, did a 25, then I added a 10, then I added a five. You're gonna rest a full two minutes, two and a half minutes max, and then we're gonna do a drop set. So now we're just gonna pull the weight off, do as many reps as we can, pull more weight off, do as many reps as we can, and then strip it down to just the bar and do as many reps as we can again. Our next exercise is a superset. We're gonna start with decline dumbbell press. We're aiming for four to six reps of these, making sure to keep our back down, keep our core engaged, not arching up as we press. Keep your elbows tucked slightly in, um, and we're just gonna do four to six reps. Then we're gonna put the weight down, stand up, go over, grab our barbell, and we're gonna do upright rows. So for these, we're aiming for eight to 12 reps. We're gonna lift up until our elbows are at the height of our shoulders go back down, and we're also trying to make sure that we keep our wrists straight throughout this movement so we don't wanna lift up and bend our wrists. Make sure you keep the weight in your palms, pull up and keep your wrists straight. We're gonna do four rounds of that superset. Our next superset is gonna be leaning dumbbell side laterals. So we're gonna hold on with one side, hold the dumbbell in the other arm, um, lift up until our elbow is at our shoulder level, go back down, keeping the movement pretty controlled. Leaning just allows us to create a little bit more range of motion so we can go further down. So we're gonna do these eight to 12 side laterals and then we're gonna put that down. We've got the cable already set up so we're gonna do single arm cable rear delt flies. We're starting up above our head and we're pulling, keeping our elbow a little lower or about shoulder level when we pull and then stopping when we can't squeeze our shoulder blade anymore. So that keeping that movement controlled, go all the way back, stretch and then Pull the cable down until, again, we can't squeeze that shoulder blade anymore. And then we're gonna do four rounds of that superset as well. Our last exercise is gonna be our shoulder burnout. Don't underestimate this one. It is pretty hard once you get up there in the reps. We're gonna make sure all of our reps are really smooth, really controlled. We start with a side lateral. So we're gonna go out to the sides. Then we're gonna meet in the middle, staying around shoulder level. We're gonna lift our hands all the way up above our head and then come back down to that middle position go back out to that side position, go back down, and that is one rep. 
So we're aiming for 12 to 15 reps. I recommend starting like five or seven pounds um, and seeing how you do with them. You don't wanna arch your back to get the weights up. So as you get through your set, they're gonna get a little bit more difficult. Um, and then we're gonna do four sets of that as well. And that's all for our shoulder workout. Make sure to like this video, comment below, let me know what your favorite exercise was, tag someone to try this with you, and thanks Man Sports for fueling our workout.